So I doubled down on Hasbro's Marvel Legends series, Submariner. Let's crack it open. <laughs> Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode... We're going to be doing an unboxing and review of Hasbro's Marvel Legends series, Submariner, the almost naked version. Um, had no plans on getting this, but it popped up on Amazon on sale for $19.19 and free shipping. I was like, well, because this was the original one I was going to get, and I ended up getting this one. Uh, because I didn't like the trident that came with the this one. I didn't really care that much for that trident. I liked the classic Submariner, but I liked this trident more. So since I got this, I'm, I'm thinking what I'm going to do now, um, since I have two of them, I'm going to put this trident on that Submariner, and that will be my shelf Submariner, and this one I might make some make into some kind of elf warrior thing. Um, I, I don't know. I may. I might just put them both up on there. Who knows? But anyway, uh, let's dive into it and um, take a look here at this figure. Um, as you can see, it is, uh, this one's a little older too, and I'm surprised that it was so cheap, but, um, you got the build a figure, uh, a koi, um, which, uh, comes with the arms for that. This is the, uh, this, this was a Black Panther series wave. Um, on the top here, we've got the Submariner logo, um, up here, you've got the build a figure, um, warning, don't put Submariner in your mouth up there. Marvel Legends series, there's the window where you can see the figure Submariner in the comic font, Hasbro logo on the bottom. Uh, on the side, we've got the comic artwork of Submariner there, and uh, same on the other side. Over on the back, we have an uh, image of uh, Submariner here, the figure, a little blurb about Submariner, Marvel Legends series. Build a figure, there's the entire wave, so this pretty much came out um, with the first Black Panther movie. Um, and then uh, we had the Akoi. Um, Akoi? Akoi? I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, but the wave uh, consists of Black Panther, um, as you can see here. I'll bring it in a little closer there. Um, Black Panther, I can't read what that... Uh, oh, Killmonger. And then uh, Nakia. Uh, we've got Black Bolt, uh, and then Submariner, and then a one of the many, many Iron Man uh, figures there. Uh, and then down here on the bottom, Jibbery Jabbery, legal jargon, blah, blah, blah. Ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And then Hasbro logo, and then on the bottom of the box, we've got Jibbery Jabbery, Jibbery Jabbery Legal Jargon and Amazon Barcode. And there we go. Let's grab Trusty here. Pew! And, oh, this is going to be a side box, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be a side box opening. Yep, yep, yep. That's what that's going to be. Okay, so we will put Trusty away and get into the box here. All right, if I can do this without ripping that tab, we'll be good to go. Uh-oh, there we go. Still a little piece of tape hanging on there. Okay, get in here, pull that tray out and there we go i'm going to leave the uh akoi arms in there because uh normally i don't uh, i don't get the the figures in the package when they have build a figure pieces if i don't have any intention of building the figure and i don't have any intentions of getting that figure or building that figure 
But, um, this was too good of a deal to pass up. So all the accessories out, so we're ready to... And there we go, he's out. All right, put this back in the package. Because I do keep my boxes. In there, flap, flap, tab. Tab. And we'll put this away. And we're ready to prop him up on the pedestal. Okay, here we've got him on the pedestal, and we've got a few accessories to look at. Number one, he comes with uh, two sets of hands and two heads. Um, the secondary head, uh, which uh, was in the package there, is a bearded head, which um, this I'm probably going to put on the other one. Um, it should fit. I think it will fit. I think it's the same size. Yeah, that'll look all right. If I put that on there, that'll look okay. Yeah. Um, this is a cool costume. I just, I like the the trident more. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to put that trident on him. And then, um, yeah, this, I might, if I can find a, a cool-looking cape or something, um, I might put a cape on that and make this, like, a, this, this could be some kind of elf. Um, I can repaint the hair and the beard. Um and make this a, uh, might make it like white, and then this can be some kind of elf archer, find me a loose bow or something, like a Hawkeye bow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But uh, at any rate, we've got this head. It's a pretty cool head sculpt. Uh, I like the swooshiness of the hair. Um, no real wash on the hair. It's just straight jet black, but um, nice sculpt, uh, really nice uh, sculpt with the beard and the mustache and the little soul patch there underneath the mouth. It is kind of off-center, though. It looks like it's off-center. But the eyes are nice, uh, nicely done. It, it looks, it's a really cool-looking head. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's not going on him. I'm going to leave that one on. And then we have the trident, which I'm not crazy about. It's okay. It's just all one piece, all, or all one color. Uh, it's all gold. Um, I feel like this should have been painted. Um, the, the little swirly tail there, the forked tail on it should have been painted. Um, it looks good. It's nice metallic gold. It, it's just, I don't know. It's not as cool looking as the other one, um, in my opinion. Uh, but, um, you know, let me know what you think. If you think I should keep this one on him, then, uh, make, drop a comment down there below. And then we've got uh, the two flattened out swimming hands, or in some cases, flying hands, um, that uh, he came uh, with uh, grip hands on by default, but uh, he came with two uh, flattened out hands, um, big hands too. He's a big boy. And then here we have uh, the Submariner himself, and uh, let me grab the ruler here, and uh, we'll measure him up. And he stands at just in between six and uh, six and a quarter and six and a half inches tall right there. So he's a little taller than some. Well, the Marvel Legends tend to be a little taller. Uh, looking at him, there's <laughs> not a whole lot to go over. Um, this is probably the most, uh, most naked uh, Marvel Legends that there is, but it is definitely one of the most Posable, um, which is why I wanted it in the first place, because um, it's got a lot of posability, um, as you can uh, as you can see there. Uh, nice face sculpt on this, very very classic look of Submariner. Um, flesh tone, flesh tone, flesh tone, all the way down. We've got some gold bracers um, that are not separate separate piece; they are um, sculpted on. Um, we've got the, um, trunks there in a very shiny, uh, scaly green. Those are sculpted on, uh, with the scales and then a gold belt, uh, going around to the, um, not really a trident symbol on there, but the, uh, almost maybe a shell or something like that. But, um, and then down here on the feet, you got the little wings because, you know, he can technically fly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great looking figure. Um, it would be a great 
Uh, great figure to get. I mean, if you don't have one and you go to Amazon, they're still on sale. If you want a nice base body, um, if you want to make like a uh, martial arts guy or something, <laughs> get a get a, a cloth goods gi and put it on him, and boom, there you go. Uh, but um, let's take a look at our articulation here. Um, head goes all the way around. It is a head on a because we can pop that off relatively easy because we it's a it's a swappable head. Um, just got a ball joint on the neck, classic Hasbro ball joint neck, uh, ball hinge. And uh, then uh, we've got some pretty, really good down, really good up for swimming. A um, little bit of tilt, not a whole lot. But uh, arms all the way around. Um, these are a little bit tight, but not too bad. Um, arms all the way out to there. And uh, then we've got a bicep swivel with a double elbow, not getting in too far because of that uh, bracer. But um, nice, nicely done. Could have used maybe a butterfly joint in there, um, but you can't get everything you want there. As uh, or you can't have everything, can't always have get what you want. That's what the Rolling Stones sang about. And then uh, wrist uh, swivel all the way around with a wrist hinge in and out. Nice smooth on that, too. Um, I think I am going to... Uh, let's pop this one out. I think I am going to put the flattened hand uh, on the left hand there. And then same on, uh, same on the right. Um, wrist swivel and hinge in and out. Um, nice smooth action on those. So very, very happy there. Um, got a very obvious hinge uh, mid torso for a uh, little bit of ab crunch going back and pretty decent going in the front. Nice waist swivel. That's my key thing. I always love the waist swivel on that. Um, really like the way those shorts just glitter, glimmer. Those those uh, shiny looking scales. Legs all the way out to there. No drop down ball joint on the uh, on the legs there. But we do have a thigh swivel. Um, we have a double knee that goes back all the way to there. Um, not that back of that knee keeps it from going too far back. But hey, you know, still great. And we have a boot swivel, even though he doesn't have boots. This is this right here is what really surprised me about this. Um, the fact that that is there. So you do have that, and then of course you've got the detents on the feet, and then uh, forward rocker on the feet too um really 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 like him um he is pretty cool let's grab the trident and get that in his hand um hands are not real rubbery and pliable but we should be able to there we go get that snapped right into place there um so yeah there we go so yeah, I mean he's 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 pretty cool. I probably should have got this one in the first place, but it was quite a bit more because um, it was like forty nine percent off or something like that, and I was like, holy crap, I gotta get that. So I got it, ordered it a couple days ago, and it just landed on my front porch just about a uh, half hour ago. So uh, there you go. So let's pop him off the pedestal and uh, line him up with some other characters and see how he scales up. Okay, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Destro, the Mezco 112th Collective 1978 Superman, and the Mattel DC Multiverse um, movie Aquaman. Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with him. Like I said, it, he was one that um, I... I and, initially wanted to get but the other one was uh was cheaper um meaning this one here <laughs> uh, i'm getting to stand up um but um you'll have to let me know what you think um if you think i should uh you should you think i should pop those get him to you just stay right there I didn't want him to get into the get in, in the way of the other uh my new uh submariner. But uh if you think I should turn that into a 
like an elf warrior because I am working on um, this right here. Um, this is a kit bash that um, I'm putting together, uh, which is uh, use a m original movie Doctor Strange body and the braided Magneto head, and then I've got uh, Evil Lynn's staff from uh, the Masters of the Universe. Uh, and uh, I've got a cloak on the way. I'm turning him into a wizard to put up with my drits. Um, so it'd be cool to have like an elf character uh, with a bow. And uh, does he have a hole in his back for a backpack? He does. So I could get uh, I could get a backpack or a quiver rather, uh, and a bow if I can find a bow and quiver. Uh, probably like a Hawkeye, uh, maybe one of the ones from Hawkeye uh, or something like that. And uh, I'll put that on him, and I can make a uh, make me a, like an elf, uh, an elf archer ranger type of guys. If you think I would, you think I should do that uh, kit bash, kit bash this into an elf character um, using that other bearded uh, submariner head. Let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You guys have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.